So welcome everybody to another episode of We Make Things, a podcast about content creation, content marketing, and content creators. I'm here with uh, my new friend, Joseph McMahon, director, editor out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. How's it going today, Joseph? It's going really well. How about yourself? Oh, it's going good. You said you had yeah. a, you're, you're busy with us, some financial projects today, right? <laughs> yeah, I am. Yeah, it's been crazy. The past two weeks have been the craziest for the whole year, like even before COVID. It's just been insane. So you are a director slash editor. Tell me a little bit about the types of projects and the type of work you do. Well, it's funny because I started out mainly doing like documentaries, like editing documentaries. Like I'm the kind of person you want to give like 30 interviews to and I would organize it and then edit together and create something if you didn't have like a game plan going in. And then on the, other, on the flip side of that, the stuff I made by myself was more like horror movies, very minimal shots not a lot of movement. So my like commercial world and like artistic side were, are, have been very different. So it's been an interesting transition into being a director over the past few years because I've still been doing a lot of documentary work and I've started to become a passion for it. But I think about it in like an edit, I think about it as an editor. So I'm always like knowing what I need to get. And it's, so it's been interesting. I, I go in with like, yes, let's just get the chaos. Let's just shoot and see what happens. But there's also a sense of like understanding like where the edit is gonna be coming from and where it's gonna lead. And so it's been a lot of fun in that world. But in in like our local area is a really like a lot of studio shoots and and things like that. And so like my past like three shoots, my past three things I've directed have all been like more locked off just in a studio. And so I've been actually like getting a passion for that as well. So I'd say documentary is definitely like where I lead, um, but I've been having fun doing like local you know, targety type stuff. Is Target a big company in, in Minneapolis? Yeah, certain people will just work for Target like for a whole year. Do the big companies have like uh, an agency of record and you get work through the agency or do you do direct to client type stuff? All direct, yeah. Yeah, if you get if you get in the door, it's it's huge because you get to meet those people and they can they can keep hiring you. So I just, like I just directed my first thing for Best Buy. Awesome, and congrats. Thanks, it was really fun and it was exciting to get in the door. I created something on my phone because I heard they were looking for something specific and so i was like ah oh, like this might be kind of risky but i'm just gonna make something tonight and then i made something on my phone edited it together sent it and then luckily got in the door for a meeting did you hear about a specific project that you want to be yeah be, be known for like but you tell me about, tell me about that process of making something <laughs> on spec on your phone and sending it in that's interesting yeah so my a producer friend called me and she said have you done anything for TikTok or anything that's like vertical with a phone and i was like i i haven't and I couldn't think of anybody to refer. Again, I wanted to refer someone, but I, I really couldn't think of anybody. And so I was like, oh my gosh, why don't I just shoot something tonight? Because it sounded like something I would enjoy because it was very edit based. It was a lot of like match cuts and, and things like that. And so I was like, why don't I just shoot something? So I got my dog and my cat and my wife and we just shot a bunch of stuff, interesting cuts and whip pans that led places. I like dropped my phone and then, you know, like picked it up somewhere else, all that kind of stuff. So this next uh, thing I want to do, sorry, I'm a little bit uh, a little bit allergic to my cat. Achoo! So yeah, it was uh, supposed to be raining. Uh, when I wrote this, I, it was raining. Uh, you know what I was thinking about is uh, Danny DeVito in The Batman. Him and his henchmen would like, they would do this thing with their, with their umbrellas. They'd be like, So if you were thinking, did he talk about Batman just so he could have an excuse to spin the umbrella because he knew he had a basketball? The answer is yes. Sorry, I got a little, uh, I got a little hungry. And it was very like meta. It was, it was me trying to get the job. Like that, I was the main, I was the main character trying to get the job. So I think it was just like playful and silly. And I, I didn't care if I got it. You have, I feel like you, when you do things like that, you have to go in that way. Sure. You can't try to make something perfect. You have to make it just fun and silly. And so, yeah, luckily they, they, they laughed at it a bit and I got on a conference call and like, that's what you always say, right? It's like, get me in the meeting. That's all I need. And then maybe, maybe I can land it. So I, I feel blessed that they, they contacted me because it was, it was an awesome job and it was a lot of fun just to kind of like, you know, be under the big lights of, of, of one of the bigger companies in town for sure. That's awesome. Um, thanks. Yeah, it was exciting. So who knows what will come with it, you know, but it's, it's one of those things like you just got to start trying to build that momentum and, you know, get, get in the door any way you can. Oh,